to lesson one of the REACH programme. You are likely joining us wondering, what is REACH all about? Do I want to be a part of this? Is this going to be useful for me? Do I need this? I'm not even sure I want to go to university. That's absolutely fine. I am hoping that I will answer some of the queries you will have and give you an overview of the REACH programme and what we offer to our top 300 students at Hereford Sixth Form College. That means that you can go on to apply to some of the best universities or to some of the most competitive higher level apprenticeships in the country and indeed in the world if you want to go elsewhere. So I'm going to share my screen with you and talk you through the overview of the REACH programme. What will REACH entail? What is it all about? It is one lesson and it will be once every two weeks during this timetable. Normally it's once a week. So if we went to a normal timetable where the lessons were one hour or one hour and ten, you'd have it once a week. But for the moment it will be either in week A or in week B. It's 14 to 16 weeks of lessons and you will get to know people who are bright like you. You will prepare for admissions tests. I'll talk about those a little later. You will learn to talk about your subject, which is important for interviews for those top universities, for medical interviews, if you're considering any of the medicine or dentistry routes. And that is really important that we get you used to dialoguing, to talking about your subject and to explaining your ideas in an interview scenario. This will also give you time to think about doing extracurricular or what we call supercurricular opportunities, which is beyond A-level study, reading beyond the curriculum, going to webinars beyond the curriculum. And it could be things from HE plus to study days in your subject, to essay competitions, to challenges, to competitions in maths, for example. There are so many opportunities and this will just be a bit of time in your timetable for you to think, yes, I'm gonna look at Cardiff University this week. Imperial, yes, this week I'm going to apply for that opportunity. A bit of time, a bit of headspace in your week to just push yourself. These are also lessons where we will give you careers support. The kind of career support that gives you a competitive edge against the top schools in the country. And I'm talking about the top private schools, which are fantastic schools that support their students so well. We help you compete with them. The Eton, the Winchester, the St Paul's girls. That's what we're here for, to help you compete with those other amazing schools. We also give you personal statement support when you apply to university or if you're applying for an application to a conservatoire. We also give you support in using the UCAS form, which is the most official document you will produce at this age. Okay. What's the process of applying? If you decide to go to university, you will apply to UCAS and it's an, a big online form, as I said, and you put all of your past grades in there. We need to check your certificates at GCSE level. You put any qualifications like Duke of Edinburgh or music certificates or way through to ballet and anything like that. That all goes on your UCAS. You write a personal statement where you sell yourself and we will help you write an absolutely stellar personal statement. You get references from your subject teachers, and I'll talk about that in a couple of weeks time. So that's really important that you show your teachers that potential now. It doesn't matter if you're not there yet. A-levels, advanced levels are tough. It's a huge step up from GCSE to A-levels in a normal year, let alone with COVID. So don't worry if you are not there yet. If your teachers see that spark of potential, that you enjoy your subject, even if you're struggling, that is absolutely fantastic. They can write about your trajectory, your journey of learning in your references. Now that applies to all students who apply to university. If you decide to apply for Oxbridge, which is what we call Oxford and Cambridge, Oxbridge, if you want to apply for medicine, veterinary medicine or dentistry, 
and actually a range of other health care, for example, physio and some nursing primary teaching. You apply early. You have to apply early if it's Oxbridge medics, vets and dentists. And we recommend you apply early if it's those other careers. But if you do want to apply for those super competitive medical Oxbridge courses, you have to finish your application and it has to be with UCAS by October the 15th. Now, why am I therefore saying it has to be in by September? Because we have about 150 students who apply early. And it's myself or Paul, who those of you who are interested in medicine, veterinary medicine, dentistry, you will know already, he and I check your whole form. We check your personal statement, every spelling, commas, everything. We make sure that it's absolutely perfect. We personalise your reference. That takes us about four hours per student. So you can see why we wouldn't be able to do it if you handed it in in October. So we need that time to make sure that it's absolutely on point. Plus, some of my students submit it on, let's say, 10th, uh, 11th of September. I check it through, do it through that night, send it to UCAS. They get an offer for some, from some of the best universities in the country within a couple of weeks. Yours is the first application to land on that metaphorical desk. And they think, wow, this kid's from Hereford Sixth Form College. They produce incredible students, independent, motivated, amazing. Send out an offer. And also you get it done before December assessments. So you actually get your application in and out of the way before most people have really thought about it. That means, let's work backwards, that you need to draft your personal statement before the summer. And it's really important that then we can tweak, tweak, tweak when you return in September, just make it absolutely perfect. Mm -hmm. To apply to those top universities, a lot of those universities will want you to have an admissions test. And these are an extra exam in October. So you submit September, you have an extra exam in October, and then you have interviews. They get to meet you in December. It's quite a lot to do, but this is the top universities. And if by the end of two years, you could be looking at really high grades, even if you're not there yet, it's worth thinking about it. So what are the admissions tests? These are an exam that you either sit here in college or when you get to interview where the top universities set one exam to compare students from all backgrounds. No difference between exam boards, no difference between different areas. They just give everyone the same test. So it's very much a leveler. This is a fair test. It's actually really good for us because a lot of exams, in fact, all other exams are testing you on what you've learned and then what you say in that exam. They're testing on something you already know. Admissions tests drop in new ideas that you don't know and see what you do with them. Some new maths, some new English, some new history, some new ideas from psychology, some new law, some critical thinking that helps you think about law. And they want to see how everyone does when they don't know the answer. Now, our students do very well at the admissions, at the admissions tests because we don't spoon feed you. We don't. We help you. We teach you well. But we aren't giving you the answers all the time. Absolutely not. I mean, anyone who's done chemistry knows exactly that's not the case. You really have to push yourself. So actually, we do very well at the admissions tests. Each admissions test is unique. HAT for history, ELAT for English, MAT for maths, UCAT for health professionals. Those are just a few. There are lots. And they'll often test you on different skills. Essay writing, multiple choice to argue a point. And this is why we help you with these skills so that you can be prepared for the tests. They might need critical thinking skills, logic and reasoning. So we help you give time to prepare for that. And if you're doing the math, we actually provide specific additional classes for those of you who are considering maths. Not only REACH, you also get math support. And those of you who are health professionals, medics, vets and dentists, you also get Paul because of the idiosyncrasies of applying for those. What's our result rate? So we actually have a very good result rate of going to Russell Group universities, which are those tough universities anyway. But then if you look at our Oxbridge and our medics, vets and dentists, we are among the best in the country 
So generally speaking, let's talk Oxbridge, fewer than 20% normally get into Oxbridge who apply. We are between about 35 and 40% of those who apply. And with medics last year, we had, from the evidence that we could gather, we had some of the best results of getting into medicine in the country, that consistent support all the way through the process. How is this rural, beautiful Herefordshire, where we are seemingly quite ordinary because we help you to aspire to compete, not in your class, not in your subject, but nationally. Why should you not see yourself as up there with the best? Your intellect could be amongst the best in the country and you push yourself, you are independent, you are preparing for university already, you have directed study, and also you have gone through the process of getting low grades perhaps, finding it hard, going to workshops, doing the extra support, resitting things. You are ready for universities and the universities know that. The universities, we have a very close relationship with universities. They know that Hereford Sitcom College students are incredible. So for universities, as I've mentioned, like UCL Imperial, Bristol, Durham, Edinburgh, Oxbridge, also Bath and Cardiff, Last year, Cardiff was the most popular university for our students. Again, one of those top universities. They know that our students are outstanding. You can be among the best. Why would you see yourself as any less? What about interviews? You don't need to have any skills. We will give you the tools to think on your feet if you're given a tough topic. We'll help you to talk freely about why you love your subject and perhaps even find a subject that you love. The key is doing a subject that you want to do. If you've had pressure to do a particular subject, hold that thought for a minute and just think about what you would actually want to study for three years or more and go with that subject. That will lead to, I'm going to look at this a bit later, that will lead to interesting and varied jobs. If you did a degree you don't really love, it won't lead to a good degree at a high level. And it may not lead to the job that you really want to do. We'll help you find super curricular opportunities that you can talk about both in your personal statement and interviews. So, for example, you might be able to, be able to talk about some further reading you've done or HE+. And also you'll meet students who aren't in your subjects, who aren't doing similar things to you. You are going to become a community of the most able. So what do we expect of you? If you don't attend, we will remove you from REACH. This isn't for everyone. REACH is a big programme. It is designed and aimed for students who could, who could be up there with the best, regardless of background. I don't mind what your GCSEs were like. I don't mind what your history is like. If you want something and you want to go after it, then REACH is for you. But this isn't for everyone. That's absolutely fine. And if you are absolutely sure that you do not want to go to university, definitely, then perhaps you might not want to do REACH. We want you to get to know one another, not merely people from your subject. We want you to want to be among the best. We want you to want that. Perhaps you even came to Sixth Form College because you knew this was the kind of community we have, highly aspirational. There are about 200 potential early applicants. Actually, it's higher this year. This year, we've got about 300 potential early applicants, about 50 to 80, apply for Oxbridge and then there are more other medics, vets and dentists. The other people in the year group will apply to go to other fantastic universities. Absolutely great. What is the most important thing if I want to go on to apply to Oxford, Cambridge or medic, vet and dentist or another top university like Bath, Bristol, Cardiff? A passion for your subject and an aptitude for it. Hopefully that has given you a good overview of whether you think this will suit you and whether you would like this every two weeks, a completely different forum for you to be amongst other gifted students like yourself. Another thing I wanted to say, and this is really important, is that universities are looking for bright students, regardless of background. If you were the best in your year at school, amazing. If school was fantastic for you, amazing.
But if school wasn't fantastic and your GCSEs weren't as good as they could have been, that doesn't matter. Historically, they used to say, oh, you have to have all, you know, sevens, eights and nines, A's and A stars to apply to these top universities. Oh, you won't get into Bristol without. That's not the case. That is not the case. If you've joined Hereford Sixth Form College and we can see potential in you, they will literally ignore that. And over the coming weeks, I'm going to show you that you could have four GCSEs. They could be really bad GCSEs. You could have parents who know nothing about university. They're like, how long is university? What is university about? Why would you want to go? The universities could be looking for you. The other thing that's really important is there are fees for university. But if you are from a lower income family, there are significant bursaries, particularly from the top unis. I have students who the university pays their fees because of their financial circumstances. I have universities who lower their offers because they want my students so badly because they are the first in their family to go to university. Universities are looking for you if you have had significant disruption, and I mean significant, so for example, bereavement or consistent ill health or some kind of condition that has meant that your GCSEs didn't go as well as you would want, or you, for example, don't live with your family, feel free to let myself or your REACH teacher know. And that's the kind of thing that we would put in your reference in confidence to make sure that those universities knew that you have come through significant challenges and are all the more impressive. They don't mind how many GCSEs you have. If they went well, fantastic. If they didn't go well, that's okay. They know from us that we are truthful. We create independent, inspired students who aim to be the best. I'll see you soon.